Hey, what's up guys? So in this video, I want to talk about the new AI features that Samsung has introduced on Google Gboard. It was a long time awaited feature and finally Google has delivered. But as of now, this feature is only available on the latest Pixel 10 devices. I've got Pixel 10 Pro here. If you have older Pixel devices, you might see this feature become available on your Gboard. But I've also heard news that Google is planning on expanding this feature on non-Pixel devices as well. So fingers crossed for that. Now, the first thing we need to do is go in Gboard settings, then go in corrections and suggestions, and then scroll down, you will see this option, writing tools, edit text with AI, toggle this on if it is not toggled on. Once we're done with this, now I'm gonna show you a sample text here with some mistakes and how Google's writing tools powered by AI work on this text. So you'll see this new button appear in Google Gboard now. If you'll tap on it, it will open up the writing tools. So the first option here is the proofread option and it will proofread your text for any spelling mistakes, any grammar mistakes or anything like that. And then you can use it to remove any mistakes from your text. Then you can go back in this button and you will see some more options at the bottom. So we have the rephrase button here as well. So when you'll go in rephrase, you will get some rephrased options here. So you can go through these options and use them if you want then we have professional so it will make it more professional for example if you're writing an email you can use this button to turn your email into a more professional uh, tone then we have the friendly option where it will change it into casual tone you can emojify it you can elaborate your text and then you can also shorten your text if you want and for each of them it gives you three options so you have a little bit of choice there as well. Now, one thing that is missing in the writing tools is the compose feature. Now, compose feature is where you can generate text from scratch, which is available in the Samsung keyboard and is a very handy feature. So if I open the same text in Samsung keyboard, we get this AI button here. And if I tap on it, so we have the spelling and grammar option. We have the writing style option, both of which are available on Gboard now, but what's missing is the composer option. So if I tap on composer, it opens up this box and you can just give it a prompt and it will generate text for you from scratch. You can change the type of the text that you want, email, social media, comment, and then you can also change the tone, whether you want professional, casual, or polite. And then it will generate that text for you from scratch. Now, this feature is still missing on Gboard. I really hope Google uh, plans on bringing this Compose feature to Gboard in future updates. Moving on, let's talk about some of the fun stuff that Google has added in Gboard. And the first one is in the stickers. So if you go in the stickers, you will see this new AI button at the bottom. If you'll tap on it, it will open up this new tab where you can create your custom stickers from scratch. So basically it uses Pixel Studio to generate these custom stickers for you. And you can see that I have some custom stickers already made. So you can just tap on it and it will open up this Pixel Studio tab in Gboard and you can describe whatever it is that you want. So let's go ahead and do that. And here you will also see that it is creating with Pixel Studio. And it has delivered us a cat in a spacesuit. Now you can also change different styles from here. So if you tap on this button, it will generate a different cat. And whichever one you like, you can just send it as a sticker to your contacts. Also have the option to create stickers from your gallery. So you have this button here and you'll tap on it. It will open up your gallery and you can select any image from here and it will just remove the background from that image and the remaining image can be sent as a sticker. Next thing is the emoji mashup feature where you can create new emojis by combining two original emojis. So if we go in emojis here, we'll just select two emojis. So let's say that we'll select this one and then we'll select this one, two very different emojis and you will see that they have mashed up together to generate a new emoji altogether. And now you can send it as a sticker. That's really cool stuff happening in Gboard right there. And you can see some examples already made. You can send them as well if you want. So this way you can keep generating new emojis. 
and come up with really fun stuff. So this is some of the new AI stuff that Google has introduced in Gboard. Hopefully it will arrive on some non-pixel devices as well in the future. Fingers crossed for that. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.